All right, on this week on to DIY4, I am going to be tackling this entryway closet. It's not really all that functional for us, so I thought it was finally time to make a little mini makeover change. Hey, I'm Janelle, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, get on over there because uh, that is a great way that you can kind of get a sneak peek into some of my DIYs, the thrifting that I do for some of my DIYs. It is at Janelle Steeper. You can connect with me there, maybe give some suggestions on things you'd like to see me do in upcoming videos. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, really hope that you do join in. Um, I do DIYs every single Wednesday, and currently I'm working on kind of cleaning out a second bedroom in our home so that I can do a mini makeover there. So this shelving unit I've actually previously used in a couple of different DIYs. I'm again repurposing it because why not and I'm going to use that today to do my little mini makeover transformation. So let's get into it. Okay, again, here is my shameful looking closet. That shoe rack is actually something I built on my channel a long time ago when I lived by myself. So now there's two of us. Obviously, it does not do justice. So also a side note with this closet right over here to the right hand side uh, tucked around is a whole kind of storage unit that we have to keep things that we just don't really need to access really regularly. It's inconvenient. It's kind of underneath the staircase of an upper unit. So we still kind of want to be able to get back there if we need to without moving a whole lot. So I'm gonna clean this all down, good sweep, a good wipe down, and unfortunately the people who lived here before did a terrible job painting this. I mean, it's just so bad. There's like white paint everywhere. So I'm gonna go in with a fresh coat of paint. I would highly suggest doing this in your makeover spaces, even if you are painting the same color. It um, just really brightens up the space. And I know a lot of you are gonna ask me, why didn't I paint that uh, clothing rack rod? I've been asked it before, but will that paint not just scratch off with the hangers rubbing back and forth? I left it, I'm happy and fine with it. This is a rental property, so I'm not investing too much. So I have that six cube piece here. So I'm going to reutilize that. Um, and I'm going to use a few of these pieces of wood. It's just some pine board that I had kicking around. I'm staining these pieces, one large for the top. And then these three smaller ones are actually going to slide right in between three of those cubbies to turn it into six cubbies. So as you can see here, I've stained them. I have also put some polyurethane coats all on top. You'll want to do that before you actually install it. It's so much easier. And then I've just marked out in the middle of each one of these these cubbies here on the one side. I did some pilot holes and screwed those pieces into place. So before I did the last one, I screwed on my top board just because I wouldn't be able to do it once that board was in there. And then I finished the um, last unit there with that other divider. So this creates so much more shoe storage for us because, you know, some shoes are short and small like these ones here. On the other side, I'm going to put some of my booties that need some more height. So up top, I've got these storage units. Uh, they're just some plastic, some baskets that I picked up at the thrift store for $2 a piece, storing all of our grocery bags bags, our reusable ones, and some shoe polish, a blanket for the park. And then for the coats, unfortunately, these two jackets are the only ones that fit on top of that um, shelving unit comfortably. The other ones will have to be tucked here into the right side. So to reutilize this whole open space here, I am going to hang my purse here on just a little hook. And then that big space right there will be a perfect spot for my boyfriend to put his bag that he brings to work with him every single day. So this is the completed space. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's so much much more organized. It looks good even if we forget to close the closet door. And yeah, I'm just so happy with the space. So let me know what you thought of this DIY. And of course, don't forget to like the video, share it with friends, connect with me uh, online at Janelle Steeper. You can find me there and subscribe. See you next week with a new DIY.